What's good? Uh, this tutorial is going to be on how to add a manual delay to your, well, basically any sound, but uh, this is geared towards uh, getting that trap snare sound. Uh, but you can add this delay to any channel in your step sequencer. <clears throat> so the software I'm going to be using is FL Studio 11.1, .1, and here's an example of uh, what I mean, pay attention to the clap snap. Them niggas ain't with my niggas. No. I'm sorry, the clap. I don't know if you guys caught that. I'm gonna play it again for you. I'm gonna go to war with my niggas. Um, so I don't know if you could hear that delay, that kind of like a ping pong delay on the clap there. So I'm going to show you how to get that sound. Um, I made a little drum pattern here for you guys. And there's no effects on any of these sounds. This is just uh, for the purpose of this tutorial. <clears throat> so what you're going to want to do is uh, select the sound that you want to add the delay to. I'm going to add it to the snare 2. <clears throat> so then you're going to want to go to function tab. And you're going to want to add some feedback. That's all of this. <clears throat> so you can adjust that sound. Uh, you can adjust how many echoes that you hear. You can adjust the pan. <clears throat> I think I want to do ping pong. <clears throat> and you can add a pitch. Um, effect to the delayed sound. You can also filter it too. So just um, play around with these knobs and you know get it to how you like it. Um, I don't have a set preference. Uh, it changes from each beat that I make, but I use this a lot, and it saves on um, you know the amount of plugins that I'm adding into the mixer. Just be aware that this delay will be added pre-mixer. So if you don't want it playing all throughout the track, you can uh, can automate this. Create uh, my, just right click the feedback knob and select uh, create automation clip. And yeah, I think that's all I have to tell you guys. So it sounds like this with everything added back.
again, you can add that effect uh, to anything that you add in your step sequencer. A kick, snare, any percussion instrument, uh, anything that you load in here can have the uh, effect added to it. Alright, so that concludes this tutorial. I hope this helped you guys. Uh, this is more for beginners. So if you already knew this, stay tuned for more tutorials. I'll be doing more uh, intermediate. Yeah, intermediate and advanced tutorials in the future. Jada go.